Welcome back, everybody. Back in the kitchen with Chef Brian from the Heidel House Resort. Today's show is all about brunch, and you guys do a brunch every single Sunday. We do. Starting uh, this year, it's going to be starting the first weekend in June. Okay. Every Sunday, we do a brunch. Um, we consist of flaming pancakes. We do an omelet station, carving station, um, all kinds of homemade pastries. Uh, every week, it changes on Sundays for us, so it's whatever. Uh, myself or my sous chef decided to come up with for the week. Well, so every fun. week it'll be different. That's really fun. So. And of course for Mother's Day and for Easter, which is coming up next weekend, you really go all out. Um, and it's right on the lake. It's a beautiful resort. It really is nice. You don't have to stay there, although you can stay there and enjoy Easter weekend or Mother's Day weekend. But you can just make reservations and come enjoy the sure. scenery and the whole grounds. Yeah, it only took us about an hour and 15 minutes to get here. So it's really, it's really worth the trip. It is. It's a lot of fun food. And if you don't get a chance to eat that kind of food, uh, it's, it's fun to come down and experience it. Yeah, so that's, we, that's the other nice thing about brunch. You can linger and try a bunch of different yeah. things. They don't hurry you. And the Easter Bunny is going to be there for Easter brunch, so you can dress up the kiddos. So this is a fun one. Tell us about what we're making here. We're making uh, prosciutto egg cups. And what we, I've done is I have some thicker prosciutto, but you can buy this in the grocery stores. It comes in a package. And what we're going to do is make a cup out of it. So we put, take a regular muffin tin. Okay. We put a little bit of oil in the bottom where you can use cooking spray. Okay. I'm a big fan of olive oil. It's a little bit healthier for you. And we push one in. And I was been using two. Okay. So you push, you know, one one way, one the other way. Okay. Now you're using prosciutto, and you that's yeah. a thicker cut. Could you also just use ham? You could use anything. Yes, you could use regular deli ham. Okay. Sliced ham, leftover ham from Easter. Okay. Um, I like prosciutto. It's got you know the bacon kind oh, of yeah. quality to yeah. it. Plus it's smoked. Yeah, so it's I'm a good big stuff. Fan of that. And yeah. then we're gonna saute a handful of vegetables. We okay. have a, a fresh shallot, which we're gonna just quickly dice. And I've got some olive oil here, a little bit of fresh spinach in here. I love adding spinach to different recipes because it's really nice color and it's so good for you. Cooks real quick. It does. And then we're just going to do a half a Roma tomato. And I like using Romas because they're a little bit heavier. Mm -hmm. um, they last a little bit better on a saute, especially with omelets and whatnot. We use those. And then we're using oyster mushrooms. This is something that I have in house right now. Um, we're using shiitakes and oysters in the restaurant right now. Yum. So. They're a little nuttier, they're nice and soft, they're meaty, um, they're really, I think they're yummy to, to, to saute with and cook with. So we're going to add all these ingredients to the saute pan okay. and just soften it. We don't have to cook it completely. Okay. Because this is going to bake again in the oven. So It is. We're going to put it in the oven. Typically I like to do about 400 for about 10 minutes because you have to cook the, get the egg cooked. Okay. And then the ham is going to cook as well, just kind of like bacon. It doesn't take very long. A little salt and pepper in there? A little there? salt and pepper. Okay, you got that. And then we'll, right now we're using uh, sea salt. I'm a big fan of sea salt. It's a little bit more flavor. It's healthier for you. And then just cracked black pepper. So this is easy. And this is more easy. of a method. So we're using, you know, the spinach, the mushrooms, the tomatoes. But you could do all sorts of different variations sure. with this. You could do like a Denver omelet, you know, yeah, with you the raid, peppers. Yeah. And raid onions. your fridge and see what vegetables yeah, you have. And totally. all you got to do is lightly cook them in a little bit of uh, oil or butter. and. And uh, once you get them to where you think they're about 75% done, you will put them in the egg cups. And now, one of my favorite parts about a brunch is the dessert table at the end. Yeah, you got yes. one of those? We always have a dessert <laughs> table, that's for sure. Um, we do a, an assorted uh, bit of Danish, some fresh muffins. Um, we're going to do an orange chocolate covered strawberry. So it's an Ooh. orange uh, pate. Uh, chocolates that we're going to do and uh, we're also doing a, like a build your own yogurt parfaits you can have it you know as dessert or or part of your dinner and uh, just a, a, a flurry of uh, desserts it sounds like we have it. a lot of food our buffet table is huge and we do everything from just standard eggs to make your own omelets pancakes um, some exotic foods as well fun so it's, a, it's a good time and we're just going to spoon it in till it's about uh, halfway it doesn't take a whole lot okay and we're just doing a couple, but you get the yep. idea if you're having, you know, 12 over for brunch, you know, fill up your whole muffin tin. Definitely. And you could do this, you know, a couple days ahead of time. None of this is going to spoil as long as you cover it and put it in the oven. And we're just going to take a regular egg. And what I like to do, actually, is I'll we'll push it down a little bit. Now, if you're doing this ahead of time, though, you don't want to do the egg until right before baking. Correct. All right. Preheat that oven. Uh, we've got it at 450. So real hot. And I want to see how you do this. And typically, depending on the size of your eggs now, these are smaller eggs, so it works out pretty well. If you use large eggs at home, you either need a large muffin tin or you can take the whites out of your eggs. Okay. So you can't separate them. Tip, you know, really, it's, you can just scoop the whites out 
or just put the whole egg. These are nice because they're small. Perfect. And of course they broke it. That's, that's all right. All that's all right. All right. So in this goes and it takes about 10 minutes. So let's check and see if ours are ready. That prosciutto, I imagine, is going to crisp up a little it bit. It should. It should get nice and crispy. A lot egg. like bacon. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow. This looks so cool. I'm not sure if it's quite done yet, so maybe we pop yep. it back in the They're oven. Pretty close. The whites are still a little runny, so okay. we need another minute or two. Very cool. All right. Well, Chef Brian, thank you so much for coming. Really appreciate it. And again, if you're looking for a wonderful Easter brunch, head to the Heidel House in Green Lake. Call to make reservations, though. They book up quickly. Thanks Here again. Go. Thank you so much. Appreciate we'll, it. We'll be back.